Hi, I'm Solomon with Bob Johnson's Computer Stuff. Today, in this tutorial, we're gonna be doing a clean installation of Windows XP into a Panasonic Toughbook CF30. For those of you who aren't aware, you cannot install Windows XP on a Panasonic Toughbook CF30 without first installing the SATA driver from Panasonic.com. We're gonna show you each step on exactly how to do this, and you can also, you know, consider this a part one of a series on how to dual boot your Panasonic Toughbook. We're gonna to show you exactly how to dual boot it by installing first Windows XP and then installing Windows 7. Thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to hit that like button as well as subscribe. What we're gonna need for this installation is a Windows XP installer disk, a floppy disk drive, and a floppy disk with the drivers. First step, plug in the floppy disk drive, and then insert the floppy disk with the drivers from Panasonic.com. Then turn your computer on, eject the optical drive, and insert the Windows XP installer, then close your optical drive back up. Allow for your computer to boot at this time. Press any key to initiate the disk. Press F6 when prompted at the bottom of the screen. The setup files are now loading. At this point, you should press S. You now must find the specific driver that needs to be installed. Uh, Press enter. At this point, you should allow the setup to load its files. Uh, Press enter. Press F8 to accept the license agreement. Now select the partition where you want to install Windows XP. Allow for the setup files to copy over. Your computer now must reboot. Once XP has re resumed and rebooted, you can install Windows XP just as you normally would. Thank you for tuning in. I hope this video was helpful for you. And also, if, if it was helpful for you, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel, as well as hit that like button, label with thumbs up at the bottom of the video. Um, you know, of course, sharing is caring. That's what I always say. So if you can, please share our video to as many people as possible whenever you have the opportunity. Uh, this is Sally signing out. Thank you once again for tuning in here at Bob Johnson's Computer Stuff. Until next time. Thanks for watching today. For more repair videos, click the link below. And remember, if you have a screwdriver, you can fix a computer. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.